I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the American hornbeam. American hornbeam, Carpinus carolinian, is a member of the birch family and one of 35 species in the genus, which is found only in the northern hemisphere. It is also called blue beech, ironwood, and musselwood. American hornbeam is a small, slow-growing, short-lived tree in the understory of the eastern mixed hardwood forest. It typically grows 20 to 40 feet tall and typically only grows about one foot per year. The short, often crooked trunk is characteristically ridged, resembling the muscles of a flexed arm. American hornbeam is native to most of the eastern United States and extends into Canada. It is also found in central and southern Mexico, Guatemala, and western Honduras. American hornbeam grows best on rich, mesic, or moist sites, but can also tolerate drier, less productive sites and soils. It is usually found in bottomland mixed hardwood forests, but can also occur in dry, moist upland hardwood forests. It is typically an understory tree, rarely occurring as an overstory tree, and it is very shade tolerant, especially as a seedling. The leaves of American hornbeam are deciduous and alternately arranged on the twig. The simple leaves are elliptical to egg-shaped and about 3 to 5 inches long. The leaves have pinnately arranged veins and the margins are doubly serrated. They are green above and pale below. Fall color can be attractive and the color ranges from yellow to a scarlet tinge. This species is monoecious, which means one house, and that means that a tree has both male and female flowers on the same tree. The flowers are catkins, and both male and female flowers emerge when the leaves come out. The male catkins are green to brown, about a half an inch to three-fourths inches long. The female catkins are yellow-green and somewhat fuzzy, about two to three inches long, with a three-lobed brack, which is a modified leaf subtending a flower. The flowers bloom in mid to late spring, and the flowers are wind-pollinated. The fruit is a small ribbed nutlet that is attached to the three-lobed leafy brack. The brack resembles a maple leaf. The bracts and nutlets are clustered on four to six inch hanging stalks. The fruit ripens in late summer to early fall, and the seeds are primarily dispersed by birds, but can also be dispersed short distances by wind. Trees begin seed production around 15 years of age, with best production between 25 and 50 years. Trees produce large seed crops about every three to five years. The bark of the American hornbeam resembles American beech, thus the name blue beech. It is smooth gray to bluish gray with a little change throughout its life as you'll notice in the photos. The trunk is fluted a ridge which gives the tree a muscular appearance, also its other name musclewood. The wood of American hornbeam is tough, dense, and heavy. The sapwood is nearly white and thick, and trees have little heartwood, which tends to be a pale yellowish brown. American hornbeam is rated as non-durable to perishable in decay resistance. It is not of significant economic importance due to its size. American hornbeam is considered as secondary in importance to wildlife except for being an important food source for gray squirrels in southern bottomland hardwood forest. The seeds and buds are eaten by ruffed grouse, ringneck pheasant, and northern bobwhite. Yellow rumped warblers also eat the seeds. Mammals such as rabbits, fox squirrel, and fox squirrels eat the seeds and the bark, and it's heavily used by beaver. American hornbeam wood isn't widely used, but it has been used for tool handles, levers, wedges, golf club heads, and mallets. The orange and scar scarlet coloration in the fall make this an attractive ornamental tree, but it can be difficult to transplant. It is recommended to be transplanted in the spring as bald and burlapped. The national champion American hornbeam is in Essex, New Jersey, and there wasn't a photo available for this tree. It was, it's 181 inches in circumference, 55 feet tall, with a 75-foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion American hornbeam is in Franklin County in the Frankfort Cemetery. It's 69 inches in circumference, 40 feet tall, with a 47-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about American hornbeam. American hornbeam nuts are edible, but since they are so small, they are seldom used. 
the extremely hard wood of this tree lends to the common name of ironwood. Musclewood, another common name, comes from the fluted ridge trunk, trunk that resembles a flexed muscle. The wood, as the common name suggests, takes on a horn-like polish and was once used by early Americans to make bowls, tool handles, and ox yokes. Native Americans used the bark to make a variety of medicines. The scientific genus name Carpinus is the Latin common name for the hornbeam, and the species name Carolinian means from Carolina. Thanks for joining me to learn about the American hornbeam. I hope you get a chance to get out into your woodlands, a local park, or neighborhood, and enjoy this unique American tree.